Mr. Young here, just looking at electrical energy this time, follows on from kinetic energy, um, using the same sort of formula, tri formula triangle and looking at um, what it is about here. So you can see electrical energy here is equal to current times time times voltage. Um, obviously, electrical energy is measured in joules, and um, the current is measured in amps. Uh, time is always measured in seconds, and the voltage is in volts there. So it's ITV, basically, is electrical energy. Current times time times voltage. So it should be quite straightforward to remember. And this is maybe a good one to do after you've maybe done Ohm's Law, because it'll talk about uh, Ohm's Law it deals with voltage, current, and uh, uh, and resistance, so there's at least the current and, t and voltage in this one, which is very similar to Ohm's law as well. So if you've done that, this one should be fairly straightforward. Or if you do this first, then it'll make Ohm's law for pretty straightforward as well. So um, either way, um, you should be able to kind of be more aware of um, how these are kind of crossing over now, um, especially when we get to power. There's a power in energy, and there's also power in um, electronics as well. So we're going to have a go at doing a couple of these uh, questions now, just to kind of go through it, and uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. The only thing you have to watch is the time, making sure the time's in seconds. Sometimes they'll give you questions with it in minutes. All right, so why don't we go doing some questions now? So we use our formula here, and the first question is going to be looking at the finding the electrical energy. So you've got a kettle with a 240 volt supply, 13 amps. It uses there, and it boil. It's going to boil water, boil water for two minutes. So we have to convert the minutes into seconds. Obviously, to do that, you need times the two minutes by 60, and then use the electrical energy formula. So 13 times 120 times 240. Find it becomes a very big number. So you can whittle it down. This could have been 1.563 megajoules. Next, we're going to find the current. So this time the kettle's only on for 60 seconds and it's got an electrical energy of 200,000 joules. So changing the formula over this time so that the current is equal to electrical energy divided by T times V. So again, working out the bottom part of this formula, 60 times 240 uh, first. So you get the 200,000 over that to give you 13.9 amps. So now we're working out the time uh, for this kettle, how long it takes to boil water or heat up water. You can see the other details here, the one megajoules, your energy. So we're going to change it around this time so that time is equal to electrical energy divided by current times voltage. So again, you're going to have one megajoule over 13 times 240, and you'll find out time is this. Lastly, we've got the voltage to find this time. So we've got an electrical energy, a current, and we've got a time. So again, using this, changing the formula around, voltage is equal to electrical energy divided by current times time. And again, it's just a case of putting electrical energy on top, and then the time, current and time below. Again, the time's in seconds here, so that's correct. And you'll find that the answer is 50 volts. And a nice blurry picture to finish with. Please be safe, and thanks for watching.